I guess it might be the same murder then. He said he chopped the body up or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to be found. Pro- you know, there's probably a lot of rumors on the street, so. Yeah. At the start of 2022, 54-year-old George Diaz Johnson, the younger brother of long-term Miami mayor Manny Diaz, was in the process of reestablishing a relationship with his spouse. But he had a problem. He had allowed a guy with a long criminal history to stay at his home, free of rent. But George felt it was time for the bad guy to go. And then suddenly, George Diaz Johnson disappeared. George worked as a paralegal. He was very professional and punctual. And thanks to his return to the United States, I was born. Um, But I have uh, the utmost respect for him, and I've tried to live my life um, in a way that he would find uh, 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 a way that it would be very, that he would be very proud of. So when he did not show up at work, his coworkers reported him missing. Investigators started working the case. And sadly, George's body was found in a landfill in Jackson County, Florida, about one hour away from Tallahassee, Florida, where George lived. An autopsy was conducted and it was determined that George had been strangled to death. There were also many post-mortem injuries to the body, but these were likely caused by the fact that his killer had disposed of his body in the trash. Therefore, a trash truck had inadvertently picked up the body during trash pickup day and took it to a landfill. The investigation turned from a missing person investigation to a murder investigation. Detectives learned that the victim, George Diaz Johnson, had been a well-known marriage equality activist. They also learned that he and his husband, Don Diaz Johnson, had been separated for years but were trying to reconnect. Finally, they learned that George had been helping a convict, 38-year-old Stephen Yinger, whom George met in an alcohol abuse recovery program by allowing Stephen to stay at his home while Stephen got his life together following his release from prison. Do you think he's still alive? I'm praying to God he is. Detectives quickly learned that Stephen Yinger had been released from a Florida prison on October 5, 2021, after serving a three-year sentence for grand theft. Let's join the detectives as they investigate who murdered George Diaz Johnson. Alright, I'm going to have a seat in here. I'm going to grab Nick and then we'll do right in, okay? Alright, thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, you know, I'm not, like, too worried about this, because I know, right. um, you know, obviously, what, that you weren't involved in this, but everything that we talk about here is when we record it. Okay. Um, that fire extinguisher is a camera, so, like, just, you gotta assume that they're recording right now, so if you want to okay. ask me something um, that you don't want it to be recorded, just let... Let them know, like, say, hey, I want to talk to my lawyer real quick. And then they'll step out, they'll step out and they turn it off. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not, I'm not too worried with your situation, but sometimes I'm meeting here with clients and I got to be like, hey, right, hey, right, hey. Right. <laughs> chill out. Yeah, what about, um, that what I was telling you about, so. Yeah, I would, I mean, I, I would share that. Okay. That's, that's up to you, but. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't want to deal with stuff like that, sorry. Like, my heart ain't going, I can't hold it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw they found, um, they found a guy, like, in a dumpster in um, Jackson County, like. Jackson County, Jackson County. What did I say, Havana? No, nah, it's, it's, it's just west of Havana. So, like, if you drive, well, no, I'm sorry, not just west of Havana. Like, west of Chattahoochee, like, if you, if you get on I-10, Probably like an hour from here. 
how you go past Gaston County. It's, mm -hmm. it's next to Gaston County, but it takes like an hour. Gaston County is real good. You know? No. It's probably like next to Gaston County. Oh, hey, man. Hey, man. What's up, man? How are you? Well. Well. Are you Muhammad? Yes, sir. Hey, Nick guys. Roberts. You didn't get to meet him last time. No, that's good. I'm not sure if that's your loss or your gain. I'm going to get to talk now. So I've only got a few questions. I, I watched the interview um, from before, so I, I have very few questions, uh, really, and more is just more so clarifying. Um, and you've known Stephen based on other just for a few months, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Um, and how how well do you know? Do you know his last name? I know him on Facebook. That's how I know his last name. Okay. Um, and you friended him on Facebook after you met him in person the first time? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions about how much he knows about you at this point. Um, yeah. Would he would he know your full name, first and last on name? On Facebook. Okay. So your, your first and last name. And, uh, yes, sir. Has he been to your house on Texas Street? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. Um, and does he know your email? Mm. No. Okay. He doesn't know your email. Was that a Gmail? Yeah. Is your email a Gmail account? Um, okay. Um, no, what What is your other email address? Do you have that sheet? If you need it, you need it. Um, Gmail that we talked about. I don't really be using that. But that is one of your... Yeah, my old, old account. Okay. okay. Um, all right. So, and a lot of this has to do with... Um, we're, we're trying to figure out exactly when that watch, that Apple watch specifically, mm -hmm. was passed from from him to you. Yeah, like I had said, he gave me the watch. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify, that was, do you remember what day he said? You said on Sunday when you were at the yes, thing, but that was Sunday, yes. the Sunday at the, at the Shell with the cameras, is what Some, you said. Yes, so somewhere, yeah. Red Hill Shell, was yeah. it right? Yeah, the Shell right up here at North Monroe, mm -hmm. where you met him. In, so that was so he gave you the watch on the same day he gave you the TV and yes, sir, I think the so, yeah. air, air yes, sir. okay because we I even told him he didn't know about it that's what I told him yeah. what he gave me and we see we see that on camera I mean, obviously yes. you can see the TV right you know? right um, so we we see that uh, so I'm just trying to verify that that was the that was the same he like the day he gave you the TV is the same day he gave you the watch mm -hmm. okay. I'm trying to say yes all right because um, I try to figure out then one night, that night I try to figure out how to work the watch. Mm -hmm. I guess that's how he linked to my iPhone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, so I'm like, I never used no Apple Watch before. Right. Yeah, me either. They don't. You know, <laughs> so I don't know. They I don't mean. have a soul. So. Um, <laughs> right. Nothing there ticking. No wheel spinning around. I'm not yes, interested. Sir. So you know, it's too too much technology for me. Um, did when you did link it to your phone did you have to input any did you have to enter any information in such as email or anything like that or did you just link it via post? i just kept pushing okay and stuff like that and set a password and it was just downloading from, from the, the city. Okay. was your phone in close proximity to the watch it was close to it okay so your did it instruct you to put the phone close to it for it to work or because my phone always in my pocket as soon as i pull out it was like iphone i mean apple watch some popped up on okay. <clears throat> so it recognized your phone as soon as you right Okay. Um, uh, payment. Uh, do you have a credit card linked to your phone? My credit card. Okay. Is do you, is it a what, what what brand of card is it? Chime. Is what? Chime. 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 Yeah. Is it a Visa, Mastercard, American Visa. Express? Uh, Visa. Visa. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, and so that's linked to your phone. Yes, sir. Okay. So. I'll, I'll be very upfront. The reason I'm asking this is it seems all kind of cryptic is, uh, you know, based on your statements and then what we can see on camera, um, you know, it would appear that you received that watch, you know, there like on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just like you said, there is, there's a possibility that Stephen, uh, and, and we're trying to iron this right. out with some iCloud, how should I say this? Yeah. That he, he and might have attached your name to the device so before he gave it to you. It looks like a login so. of the device. And we, I told you this when you were in here, mm -hmm. uh, when we spoke, yeah. that there was a login to the device on that Friday. Right. So, and I, I, he I never got close to my phone. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but your information is in the device as a login right. on that Friday. That's when I, he was downloading when I did that, all the pushing button and stuff. 
to connect with my iPhone. That's when I guess all my information went to the world. Right, but that would have happened on Sunday versus, right. but yeah. Apple has it happening on Friday. So I know y'all met up Friday, remember? He met you to get some Tucci on Friday mm -hmm. um, before he went to Panama City. So did y'all mess around with the Apple Watch at all Friday? That's what we're just trying to, because mm -hmm. around that time y'all were meeting we is when that login meeting. happened. Like we don't even spend no more than mm -hmm. two minutes with each other because mm -hmm. I just shared my Tucci with him and he gone, that's it. Right. Okay. That, that, but that, that's why he's asking the question. Yeah, that's that, because that of what, it, we, what was, we talked about with that. Because um, I, I know that, you know, when I looked through some of Stephen's things, I mean, he, had, he had a notebook that was sort of like right, this. Right, but I even was waiting on a on charger. He said, we're going to bring me the charger for it. Okay. Yeah. Right. And he gave me the charger for it and everything. So. Well, um, he gave you, if he gave you the watch on I think he gave Sunday. me a TV with a charger. Yeah. Like, everything was hooked up. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it, it, a lot. Of, some of the reasons why I'm asking these questions is when I went through Stevens' things, there was a um, a notebook that was much like this one that had you know lots of people's names and phone numbers in it. Mm -hmm. um, yours in particular, I mean, he had you know your first name, your last name, your nickname of right. Brando. He had your a com full right, complete address, right, right. apartment number, and everything, <laughs> and phone number. And that's just really honestly, it's not something that I'm used to. Um, right, so I was right, curious right. as to whether or not he had. But like email me, I've been working with that. people in my life because mm -hmm. I'm. I don't do bad stuff. Yeah. I've been giving people a chance. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about his background. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to, you know, it's my understanding based on the interviews that I watched before, uh, the black Mercedes, the blue BMW. Right, you right. He lied that, about all that, him and his girlfriend, a lot. You had the impression that was their car. Right. right? Did he ever mention uh, his, his roommate or the person that he lived with at the house on Alachua? And that's the thing, like, when I came to their house, like, the room, I only saw him one time. He was standing outside. Because mm -hmm. I, when I go to the house, I don't get out of the car. Right. So I kept looking at her, like, oh, you think you're going to get some weed for me and oh, for my roommate? I'm like, nah, I don't smoke weed. Mm -hmm. So I smoke 20. Yeah. But I can get you some. Like, since then, I didn't see the roommate. Gotcha. Um, and he never made any mention of his roommate being out of town or being away or anything like that. And this would have been, you know, mm. in that time period that you borrowed the, the blue BMW, that, that week. That's why I said, because last time when I mentioned they're going to a party, it wasn't a party thing. I think he was saying they're going to pick up somebody. Okay. I guess they had went to Miami or something. Mm. Oh, Panama City or something. Okay. But he didn't mention who? His roommate, brother, or something. Mm -hmm. I think, if I can think, I think that's what he said. I might have missed that in the last interview. Do you know the context of that? No, he. You mentioned that he said he was going to Panama City. Yeah. And he for, asked you for, to go, and you said no, you weren't going. Right. Okay. Um, and I think. You, you weren't sure what he was going for. Right. I thought he was like I said it for a you, girl. Yeah, you, or something. Could, you thought it was for a girl. Right. You couldn't remember. Yes. So I kind of like catch on. He was saying that he was going to pick up somebody. Right. Because I I wanted the car that day or something. He was like, no, nah, you gotta use the car. Right. Because he gave it to you the next day at right. the garden. Right. Okay. And then the other thing I wanted to clear up with you, and you were kind of, and I understand the days were kind of, you were yes, mixing yes, them up. Yes. Yes. Um, you you had mentioned that he had told you that someone had died. Right. Okay. Right. Do you, and and that part and yesterday I was speaking to one of my friends. They actually told me they was hanging out with them, cause they, a lot of people like me. Mm -hmm. So they were saying, "Yo, bro, the same guy that got you in trouble, he was over here explaining what he did with somebody. I guess October or November, he killed somebody. I guess he shot him, and the bullet went to the wall." And he had like put a, a dog dog somewhere in front of it so nobody can see it. Mm -hmm. And the guy said when the police and everybody came in, they didn't move the dog. And as of right now, there's a dog still there. The dog? It's a dog dog, the dog door? to hide the bullet hole. Oh, the dog door. To hide the bullet hole. Gotcha. And they're saying, the people that are telling you this are telling you it's the same guy. Yeah. Okay. I guess it might be the same murder then. He said he chopped the body up or something. Mm hmm. And nobody um, would be fine. Pro, you know, there's probably a lot of rumors on the street, so. Yeah. But what you told That's me. That's where the what, last place he was. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, but I'm talking about what you told me that Stephen and you had that conversation. About it was what? either, uh, he said that 
he killed somebody or that that was in the dead. parking lot yeah. Was, yeah in the parking lot that's what like I, that's, he said he had nothing to do with it <clears throat> right right, right. And he, so i was trying because you were confused at whether or not it happened when you got the bmw or if it happened when you got the tv um so i just he told me at uh, olive garden at olive garden oh uh, yeah Okay, that, that's what I was wanting yeah, to make sure of, because yeah, it was yeah, all yeah, garden, yeah. not the shell. Mm -hmm. That's what we just needed yeah, to clarify yeah. that. Um, and, I, and because of that, I want, want to walk back over the, the whole Olive Garden situation. Um, you'd made, made plans with him to borrow or rent the vehicle, the BMW, right? right? With the girl, him and the girl. Okay, and did you, when you say him and the girl, did you talk His to both of them at the same time? Or? I had talked to her in person, mm -hmm. so I was supposed to meet them to the house, and to swap my car, leave my brother's car with them, to yeah. get the car. And hey, when you I, say, yeah, I'm sorry, but when when you say you talked to the girl in person, you told you told the girl that you wanted to rip borrow the car. Yes. Okay. All right. So he, he told me, okay, bro, I gotta go get Kelly food from Olive Garden. I guess he didn't want me to go to the house, so that's why he made me to Olive Garden and we'll swap the car right there. Okay. And I left. All right. And when when you swapped cars with him at the Olive Garden, was it just you and him, or was Kelly there? Hmm, just me, my girlfriend, and him. Okay. Um, and was your girlfriend present when he made that statement about somebody dying? Mm -hmm. She was sitting in the car. She was sitting in the car. Okay. I, I, I asked question him. I said, what you talking about? He didn't say nothing. Okay. And I don't like getting people business. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're... You're, you're certain that he mentioned somebody died on that day at Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, if they got camera, he like kind of did his arm like that. Like, bro, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm like, oh, well, what you did? What happened? He didn't say nothing. How did that come up in conversation? Cause like I kind of seen like I asked him like, what's wrong with you? Why are you moving all like? Cause exactly I can feel different. it, yeah. I can feel that spirit. Yeah, like, bro, yo, like people chasing him, like after him or something. Like that's how I felt. Like, yeah. Well, so was he just like nervous or what? Kinda, kinda yeah. nervous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And even though he was in jail, I end up seeing him. Mm -hmm. I asked him about the watch. That's how I know he kind of good to hit it still didn't answer. I said, where did you get a watch from? Can't, if he can't answer that, then <laughs> something did, right. You wound up in like the same pod with him or something? Mm -hmm. uh, of course. So. <laughs> <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Right? Well, I was happy all, to see him. Like, all the pods I out know. there. I don't know. like, yeah. like my spirit. I can't do that. Yeah, because you were just up here. Right. Yeah. You know? So, and this is back to that conversation at the Olive Garden. So, I mean, you, you asked him what's wrong because he looks... So nervous, nervous and scared. Like, so I asked him, I said, yo, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking like that? It's like, yo, Brad, um, somebody died accusing me of killing him. I'm like, well, so my head, like, I want to ask questions. Like, what's going on? What's up? Who? Mm -hmm. He didn't say nothing. He just like, man, how long are you going to keep the car? Make sure you bring it at 9 o'clock. I love it. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to talk about it. I just left it like that. And that, that was the extent of this. He just said, you're like, hey, what's wrong, bro? And he's like, oh, man, somebody died and they're accusing me of it. And right. nothing else. Because I, I questioned one time. Mm -hmm. I, he ain't going to tell me, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I guess the plan was uh, you keep the car until like no. roughly 9 the next morning. Next, yes, sir. Okay. The next one would have been Sunday, Sunday. the 9th. Right. And there's something else I need to clarify too. Um, <clears throat> so I know he goes over to, um, is, it, is he your actual brother? The owner of the Toyota? Yeah, yeah, never. Just close friend. He never met my brother. Okay. Well, he uh, he he eventually he goes over. So right. He, he went over there to yeah, Looking trying to get you. his car back. Yeah. Had he ever had he ever met with you over at that place on Dixie Drive? I'm trying to figure out how he knew to go there. Yeah, yeah. One time. Okay. A couple times. So, yeah, one time ago. So he goes there. Um, Try to find to see if I was going to be there. So he asked your brother, 
know, hey, you know, where's my right. at? Need to get the car. That's when my brother called me and said, hey, yo, come on, the white dude we're looking for you, and he want his car. Mm-hmm. And I got mad. I'm like, why did he go over there yeah. instead of calling me and stuff? Yeah. And it wasn't even nano clay, it was eight something. Right. Um, and in the interview that you did with Sherry and with Will, you said that you were around the corner at a girl's house somewhere on Dixie Drive. Right. Um, I need to ask specifically, I'm, I'm not going to ask for an apartment number, okay? Oh, you do. But were, were you on Dixie Drive or were you on Old Bainbridge when you met with Steven to swap the cars? On oh, Urban Bridge, cause that's where I had my other girl staying okay. at. When I got on, um, got my apartment. <clears throat> I had another chick like still right in the same apartment. Okay. Okay. So, all right, and I just need to clarify that, cause you yeah. know he's saying one thing, and from watching that interview, I'm like, well, right, you know, did, did around the corner. Did know. they swap vehicles on Dixie, or did they swap vehicles on Urban uh-huh. Bridge? So, um, did y'all? That's when he got his car back on Urban Bridge. Yeah, and uh, how early in the morning was that? Do you remember? I think before nine. Okay. Right, like right, right at eight fifty or something. I was mad. I met him right there in front of the um, office right there and gave him his car. How did he get into the gate? He can't get in the gate. Okay. I met him through the um, office. Gotcha. Did you leave a hat in the car? Yeah. Did you leave a hat in the car, like a ball cap? A ball cap? What kind of hat is it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have one. To, I don't have a picture of one to like, show you. Oh, like a camouflage. <clears throat> like, did you ever? Did you leave no anything in the in the car that you would need returned to you? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So if if he said I had to go, I again <coughs> probably giving too much weight, but you're good enough to come back in and talk to us. I'll tell you. Um, you know, we saw him driving that car later in the day on Sunday, mm-hmm. and his initial excuse was, "Well, I just got it back." Mm-hmm. And this was after lunch. But you gave him, yes, but you gave him the car back earlier that morning. Right, that's what you're right. Saying. And he eventually admitted to that as well. Um, so then his excuse was, well, I was going back up to the apartment complex in Old Bainbridge because uh, Bando had left a hat in the car and I was trying to give it to him. Um, did he ever reach out to you and say, hey, your hat's in the car? Or do you have any knowledge of him mm-hmm. going back up to the apartment complex to return anything to you at all? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that's when we met at the Shell Station on Sunday. Yeah. And so y'all switch cars early Sunday morning, mm-hmm. and then y'all meet at the Shell Station at later, later, later that day, right. like right, right before right. we got them. Right. Um, and if you can just clarify for me, from uh, I, I know the the AirPods. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know the Apple Watch, there was a small TV. You made mm-hmm. some mention in the last interview about the cord on the TV, or something was wrong with the TV. Yeah, it was cut. Yeah, it was <coughs> no good. Like, I just got rid of it. When you say it was cut, what do you mean? That you can't plug. When you plug, you just going to blow up the whole TV. Like, was the end that like, you plug in the so, wall cut uh-huh, off? Like, like bare the wires? Piece, mm-hmm. That kind of cut, like with the scissors or something. Okay. All right. So it was just cut up. Right. All right. But it did have the plug where you could stick it into the wall. Mm-hmm. It was just cut up. Okay. All right. Okay, and I, I'm, I'm going to assume that he's given you these items in exchange for Tunchi. Mm-hmm. Is this a question I can ask? I'm not. Oh no, nah. he just like gave that. it to me because like I started to be a good friend to him. Okay. Like he just started giving me for free. I guess he's trying to plan mm-hmm. on leaving in town or going somewhere. Okay. Um, when when he called to meet you at the shell, was it just to give you the items, or was he trying to get stuff too? Give me the item and ask me if I had something. Else. Okay. Um, and he didn't ask for any payment or anything for these items. He just tell me. Tell what I mean. What was that com? You knew that he was going to give you these things before you got there, mm-hmm. right? No. Okay. So what was the conversation like when you know you guys meet up there at the Shell on North Monroe, and now he's got these electronic items? I mean, how does he present them to you? I think I was talking. I'm like, damn, weren't you moving out of town? But he had all the clothes, hangers, and all, everything in the back seat. Mm-hmm. So I just started talking and talking. I was like, man, you want you want the, you want the TV? You want um, this and that? I was like, yeah, I think. TV, the AirPods, right. and everything. Um, did Did he give any indication as to where they came from or anything like that? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Um, in The days, I'm pretty 
sure this will be my last question, but in the, in the days leading up to the time that you and he met at the Olive Garden to swap the vehicle, mm -hmm. um, how many times do you think you saw him or you were around him that week? Like in the days yeah, prior to trade the like, He always like, he called me like time to time. He don't like, not all the time. <clears throat> like whenever he needs something, so that's why he called yeah. me. Um, that week, did he call you a lot for Tunchi, more than mm -hmm. usual, or the same amount? Mm -hmm. That's him, just to share. Like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, before, when was the, okay, going back to the time where you met him in the Olive Garden, um, do you remember when and where you met him the time before that? It's almost an unfair question to try to remember something like that, I understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hold you to the date or anything like that. Right, I just remember right. where. I know I, we met at the gate, at the gate gas station on Magnolia one time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was with my girlfriend, too. Yeah. I was trying to say that was the day, that was Thursday or something, or that was Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, so I don't know. One of the weeks, yeah. I met him at the gate gas station. Gotcha. And how long ago, when was the last time that you went to the house on Alachua? Ooh. We had been a while before I went there. I think it was after Christmas or before Christmas. interview you said you've never actually been inside the house mm. okay mm. okay i mean you can't see it all in the text whatever the text is that's what it is you got yeah. days on that's just, that's, well, just, that's how we operate and i just want to clarify because we, we did discuss it you did meet with him that friday because he came to you before he went to panama city uh -huh. so where did he meet you at that friday do you remember mm. <clears throat> my brother in the morning yeah, the, yeah the before he one? left, he met, my, he met me by my, that's how you know where my brother stayed. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Was that the day he asked you to go with him to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because he was like feeling himself happy, he had some money and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you want to ride? No, I don't ride. <clears throat> he like, we became like just friends, like, he, I don't know nothing about him, I was just dealing with him. That's so, all. I don't know nothing about him. And just confirming, you met him through Kelly, right? Because you knew Kelly from mm -mm. Perry? I met him at the store. You met him at the store? Right. Marathon. Marathon okay. on Adam Street. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you said you met there, but then he was dating Kelly, and you knew, you've knew you known Kelly from Perry. Yes. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. That's why I just wanted to clarify. You were it, it just, my, my take on that, you can tell me, I mean, you, were, you worked at the Walmart in Perry? I used to work there. Yeah. And did she work there, or you just? Mm -hmm. I just knew a lot of everybody there. Okay. You just know her from just seeing her around. Right. Like, you don't work tight or anything like that. And her people. Yeah. Where are you from? Paris, France. You're, well, I know, but here, because I, I heard you mention in the last interview, you talked about uh, Perry, Madison, you got kids in Greenville, yes, too? Yes. I got a child in Greenville, Mohammed. I got two in Perry. Yeah. Did you did you, did you grow up in Greenville or in Madison County? I stayed no? over there one time before. Okay. What year did you graduate? 2015. Okay. Um, all right. Last question. I promise I'll get you out of here. Uh, when you saw Stephen inside, <coughs> oh. yeah, I promise. I'm telling you, totally like GED it. program. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what he's talking about. He's doing the math over here. What? He's doing the math at the 2015 and his age. Yeah, yeah, I'm oh. holding it. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have to do my GED. I don't uh, when you saw Stephen inside LCJ, um, what was that conversation like? Where what? You said you saw him inside jail. Oh, Steven. yes, yes. I was trying to question him, like, put him into that type of situation I don't know nothing about. So now it's my time to ask you questions so I can know what's going on. Yeah. So 
if I ask you like who watched this here, you, you can answer that something's wrong because you got the watch. You gave me the watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? So you, you asked him about the what when you say I asked him about the watch. At the airport, he didn't say nothing. Did you say like where did you well what was your question? Where, like, hey man, where um where you get this Apple Watch from? He looked at me and turned around the circle and stuff and came and like, damn, um, what do people say? I said, What people? He's trying to get me off. So he was asking you what we told you. Right. I said, you gonna have to go ask them, find out. He he know, he know what's going on. He ain't dumb. He know what's up. He know what's going on. So they never gave you an answer as to where the. Mm -mm. Okay. So just just so I'm clear, you know, you, you see him in LCJ. You ask him, you know, where'd you get the watch from? And right. he doesn't answer, but he, he asks you a question in return. What what did they tell you? Like the police? What did the police right. tell you? Right, what the police say. Okay. Um, and he even came to my cell. He came to your cell? Right, so? like to the door, because you can't get in. Now, what are they talking about? <clears throat> you know what's going on. That's why you're asking all these questions. You mm -hmm. got to know something. So he was trying to ask you what we've told you about. Right, trying to see if y'all going to be asking me about, I guess, the murder case or something, yeah. so I can't give him a little ant. And I'm it's, not gonna open my mouth. You didn't tell him anything? Mm -hmm. And it's okay if you did. Oh no, no, no trust me. I'm not gonna get in my step and nothing I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. Um, hmm. Is there anything else that you know that you're not? I mean, my friends that was telling me yesterday if they're open for it because every the story they was telling it might be the truth. I mean, I don't put that past that. Like, you're not gonna lie to me. Yeah. Yeah. So they're saying that that he did this in his room. He got a bullet hole somewhere. And, and they're saying that that's that's he related shot. to this incident. And that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. Because they gotcha. do say around October, November, mm -hmm. and I'm saying to myself, I'm like, this I guess this one just happened. I don't know when yeah. Yeah. did it happen. Um, all right. That's why I don't get how he came from driving a Jeep to uh, the BMW. When did you see him driving a Jeep? Is that <laughs> what he was first driving was a Jeep? After they had got in the wreck. Yeah. And they, okay. yeah. I guess they had got a rental or something. Yeah. So after the wreck, he was driving a Jeep? Right. Okay. Yeah. So you knew him when he was driving the black Mercedes. Yeah, that's when I met him. Then Jeep for a little while. And then, then the, BMW. The BMW. Right. Yeah. Yeah, none of those were his cars, so... Yeah. Or or hers. So, um, have you had any contact with the girl Kelly? I mean, I can't. No, 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 not Oh, no, no. You haven't though. Right? I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I didn't know if if she reached out or anything like that. So. She just texted my girlfriend, told her that y'all don't be around him. He's a bad guy. He's not a good person. Mm -hmm. Talking about Stephen. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> w one of the things that we have to do is and. I know Matt told you this, we have to do an amount of due diligence, you know, we can't focus on one particular suspect, right. or, um, you know, if if this goes to trial uh, a, year, a year from now, two years from now, um, a good defense attorney is going to say, what about Muhammad? Mm -hmm. What about Muhammad? I mean, he's doing drugs with, with Stephen, I mean, could, could Muhammad have done this, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so some of the things that, you know, I'll be completely, he's probably already told you, some, some of the things that we've done is, is follow up on alibis, which everything checks out, mm -hmm. um, phone records and things like that, um, particularly location data, um, whether or not you were at the house at Alachua, um, so that we can say that we've ruled you in or ruled you out. Um, and at this point, we're ruling you out. Um, I think you guys have discussed a buckle standard, a DNA sample, mm -hmm. um, and are you guys still on board with him giving consent for that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you know, he's already explained to you what we would use it for potentially, and that would be to compare it to any DNA that's yeah. that would be on the victim's body. Yes, sir. So, um, and you saw who you think is George. One time, he you were in the yard. He was in the yard. And you guys have never had contact, and you didn't have contact with him, you know, since then. So, mm -hmm. okay. All right. So, do you want to do that? Yeah. Thing? All right. I'm going to figure out this phone. Hmm? <clears throat> oh, um, phone situation. Yeah. Uh, wh while she's doing that, and I think we did, the, the iPhone that you had, 
um, it didn't have, did it have service or no? Mm -hmm. No, sir. And you were using that like Wi Fi well, online? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, who's Brianna Cooper? My ex girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> she, okay. She's dying for her phone right now. <laughs> Check. <laughs> I'll let you explain that one to her. Oh, um, no. <laughs> and then uh, your other phone, which was uh, an Android device. Yes, sir. Um, do you remember the telephone number of that one off the top of your head? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Seal it up and I'm gonna have you initial the okay. seal once I seal it. Unless that's, that's all I've got, unless Matt, you have anything? I got nothing. I should have asked this from the beginning. Is this the um the Jackson County dumpster situation? Yeah. I'm sorry about you. I'm yeah, so I, I, I kind of figured yeah. it last week, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm so sorry. I thought, I thought yes, you guys that's what it was. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't go into detail yeah. about right. it on the phone. So that's yeah. what happens. It. I don't. I don't. No, there's a lot more to it. Yeah. Oh lord. So I was working with. Uh, well, I'm working with, but I had something with uh, Investigator Kelly, like around the time that he mm -hmm. was involved with himself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's 24. Oh yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was Greenville, Madison, Perry. That's my kids right now. They probably calling me right now to come. Well, you better get to them. <laughs> That's everyday day thing. How old are your kids? Yeah, and some of them are in Greenville, and some of them are oh, in One in Greenville stay down here in Tallahassee, and the other two stay in Perry. Okay. <clears throat> See how I wrote my initials and dates? So who's stepping initial? up uh, into your squad? Uh, Eric. Um, um, Scarborough. Scarborough. Is. I don't know if you've worked with him yet. I know the name from the reports, but I don't. I don't. Yeah, think he's, I... he's moving up from Robin. Um, so. Taking my spot. Taking her spot. Mm -hmm. And I can't see you anywhere else, Investigator Roberts. Huh? I can't, I can't see me anywhere else <laughs> either. So. He's closer to retirement. If than they. I am. Try to move me somewhere. I'm, I'm you know, tell the chief he needs to call Matt up. <laughs> <laughs> if I can well, get what's your date of birth again? Okay. What? What? What are you guys looking at? You had some warrants on some VOPs yeah, or um, something, or um, to be trial and feds up here yesterday. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I don't know they can come for me, but like that now. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Well, you, when you got up here and we started talking, you understood why we mm -hmm. came like that then. Yeah. At that time, we, we didn't know who was involved with what. Yeah. No. All right. No. Um, so, I don't have anything else. You, he wanted to get one of his phones. Are we going to be able to... Uh, the, how about the, if the, the iPhone, I feel... I mean, he can't get the iPhone. That's all right now. Cause this is actually the... Um, I just want the one that's on so I can get my job, my bank, and all that stuff. Right. Well, we're waiting on some of the records on um, one of the other ones to do, fully roll you out. That's why we can't release right. certain ones. That's why I was, he was asking the phone numbers. Cause the, the iPhone, I feel I feel comfortable about um, the, the warrants uh, for records for both the iPhone and the Android were submitted at the same time. Um, we didn't get the correct records back for the Android, mm -hmm. um, which is the one that you talked to Stephen on. Mm -hmm. um, Only that 904. Right. Right. So it, that might be is a it, little bit long. I'm who's still your wait. carrier? What, who, who's the carrier? Oh, it Metro, was Metro, PCST, Metro. So T-Mobile. We're still looking at like three or four days on that. Yeah, those. three or four days on that um, one. I, I feel confident releasing um, the iPhone. Mm -hmm. To you, if you if if you're comfortable, that's doing that. Yes, sir. Um, and then once we have the records back, we fully excluded you uh, releasing the the Android. Yeah, the Android. Both of them. So I'm gonna need it on um, six four zero. Six four zero is the Android. Yes, sir. The, the it's other six, Android. The other <clears throat> six four zero. So that was the one that we didn't have. Do we have full sub right on that? 
We did, right? No, the 640 we didn't have the passcode for. Right, because we never talked on that one. We never, right. like, did nothing. Right, That's but, like my family phone. Yeah, and but there's... Six, this, I'm sorry, let me just make that clear. There's a search warrant for the phone, but without the passcode, you know how cell phone works. It's going to take a while to get into it. It's still running. Yeah, it's, it's still running. We, you know on that one so we couldn't get into that one yet so it's all right i'm sorry the what, what's the last four of the number that you're talking about now that we need oh, five six six four okay um all right so we have that one but we don't have it so it. we got three phones so he had an iphone on him and then there was two more from the car that were covered under the okay. car search so warrant. one the warrant is still being served on it because it's, it's still on the machine mm -hmm. running until we can get through a passcode to it um do you remember the password? If, if you yeah, know. I know my password. Okay. Because the passcode will make it yeah, go I mean, we have a search up. warrant, so. <clears throat> it'll, it'll be quicker. And yeah. We're not, they're not going to be able to give it to you. They're probably talking like later this week. Okay. I, I can't use the iPhone for right now, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. be capital B 8762. Capital B? 8762. 8762. Because you had the one Android that was the R starting from mm -hmm. the bottom left. Mm hmm Okay. Because that was the one. So capital B, 8762. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But we do have a full cell right on the... The iPhone, because he gave me the passcode no, for the no, iPhone. No, no. This one. The, the one we're still... The, the one I'm still not sure there. which one he did gotcha. the, on the cell, on which of the Androids. You need to hold out. Yeah. Hold out. The, the iPhone, computer. I know for sure we do. Yeah. Until we get records back on this one. Then we yeah, that one we're waiting on the, the records. I, the iPhone, I'm comfortable. Back. Yeah, the, um, the password then, to the other um, 640 is that the um, cup would be. Which one? For the um, 640. 640? Yes. It's the capital B 87. Right. Yes, yeah, right. Because you had already given me all the mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. That was the only one I didn't have. Right. Okay. Do you know the item number on my phone? Uh, I don't, but I can go look it up real quick. Okay. All right, well, we can go down there. Five o'clock on that last day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool job. I'm saying there's a lot of work. Yeah, okay. there's definitely. I don't know about cool. Yeah, brain. Yeah. <laughs>